Ujeswati Nimelwe Uzalwagabusha. Jesus said, You must be born again. Lapage si funda Momuntu Waba Farisi Ikamalakelu Nikodemu. Here we read about a man who was a Pharisee, Nicodemus. A teacher of Israel. Manje Agu Shuguti Ube Mfundi Sinje Wakwa Israel. Kwapa Uyena Mfundi Swakwa Israel. Kushuguta Geko Obe Mkuru Gunaye Uyena. It doesn't say here that he was a teacher of Israel, but rather that he was the teacher of Israel. In other words, he taught everybody in Israel. There was no one in Israel of a spiritually higher stature than him in teaching Israel. He was the most important one. He comes here to Jesus at night. Some ask, why should he have come at night? Was he afraid of people that might have seen him with Jesus? But I personally don't quite like that interpretation. I think rather that it's because he who was the teacher of Israel, he who was the most educated in the things of Israel, that he wanted an opportunity with Jesus all alone. There was something in his heart that troubled him. He wanted the opportunity to sit down with Jesus alone to talk to him. And have ample time to discuss with Jesus alone with him. For he had a question on his heart. He wanted to discuss something that was very profound with Jesus. And as a highly educated person, full of wisdom, he wanted to ask Jesus the question he had. Forty. Ube so nishwa no ma ubani emkulu. He was respected by everyone because of his importance. 
futhi ngisho nakulokhu kwasemhlabeni umlando uthi uyena ube ngoyedwa kubanda bathathu abayizigwili enkulu kwa Israel history tells us that he was also one of the, the three most richest people in Israel he was ian van die drie rijkste manne in Israel kosho guti noma ene mali nomenes kunda noma sakan phile kunabantu bonke noma en engum farisi omkhulu esesikhundleni sokugcina bekusekhona okujulile abengaqondi abefuna ukuthi akuthole but despite being the richest most wise most highly respected man there was still something deep that he did not understand ubezizwele ukuthi ke cha kukhona enginombuzo ngakho enginaqondi and he just felt within him that there was something that was important that he didn't yet understand uyabona noma ngaba nemali noma ungaba nesikhundla esikhulu noma uphakeme kakhulu kunabanye abantu ngeke kukwenelise wena beseke ube nokuthula ngakho konke you see even if you are very rich you are highly respected you are very important highly educated but that will not satisfy kukhona futhi akungabazeki ukuthi kukhona ukunye abefuna ukuzwa kujesu and there is no doubt that there was something that he wanted to hear from jesus himself sesimfikake ehleli no jesu bebodwa ebuza ujesu imibuzo so here we find him sitting with jesus alone with him asking him questions ujesu ke owazi bonke abantu oqondayo nalokho kusenhlizweni yomuntu ngoba thina singafihla ngothayi ngengube zinhle nangokufarisa nangokuzenzisa izinto because we kodwa kukhona ujesu yabona okungaphakathi enhlizweni yakho nomukhuluma kunye ngomlomo kodwa ujesu yayibona inhlizi yakho we might try and bluff our way we might pretend we might be pharisaical and have an outward show but jesus understands and he knows exactly what's in the heart no munga khuluma amazwi amahle aqondile kodwa ujesu akakhohliswa umuntu njengawe njengawe ungakhohliswa umuntu akhulume okumnandi kanti enhlizweni ukhona ukunye even if you are able to speak flowery words of eloquence but jesus knows if there's something else in the heart ujesu ke uma isehlangene naye so when jesus meets with him unikote memcelo ukuthi siyakholwa ukuthi uvele nokunkulunkulu nokuthi unkulunkulu nawe 
Ngoba ake komundo ngenzi msebenzi oyenza yo wena. Nezi manga esi ibonayo. And Nicodemus tells him, we know you are from God. For no one can do what you do unless you are sent from God. Unikodemu. Ujesu watigu ya nkrinsile nkrinsile. Ngitiguwe. Uma. Unga salwanga kabusha. Ngege ubo numbuso angkulungkulu. Jesus responds by saying, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. You see that. Do you see that even if you can use the right Christian language, make the right impression, but if you are not born again, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. That confused Nicodemus, wondering why it, how is that possible that a person can be born again, even though he was so wise and highly respected, he could not understand this. He asked, what an old person can he then enter into his mother's womb and be born again? Tina singate how? Umuntu nga sa or san pegangaka. Anga kulumakanjani isimansuman isinji. We might say, how can such an educated person, the teacher of Israel, speak such nonsense? We are born no musarantile. No mu pi wela em lonyeni. O no mu fundi siwe. Una bantu bonke u saran pile unes kunles pagene meyo. Nge u siswe go na uguzunge nezuluini. You see, even if you have all the Christian eloquence there is, you're highly respected. You're a teacher yourself, that you appear to know everything. But if you are not born again, you won't, you cannot use these things to enter into heaven with. That confused him. This is amazing. God says in another place that he has hidden these things from the wise and revealed them to the babes. Kutua, salvation is not by education, but by revelation. It was hidden to him. Ngamanzi,nangomoya, and Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you that unless a man is born again of the spirit and of water, he cannot enter God's kingdom. Manzi, 
bathi kuyilapho ke bezalwa kabusha some people as soon as they hear the word water their mind jumps to the conclusion that he must be referring to baptism therefore a person must be baptized no that is not in this context you cannot be baptized and therefore become a new person a thief can go into the waters and he'll come out of them still a thief it's not speaking about water as we know it which we sometimes water is symbolic of the holy spirit like for instance when jesus said if any man drinks of this water he will thirst again but if anyone drinks of the water i shall give him he will receive that which will flow like a fountain from his innermost being. And there he was speaking about the Holy Spirit. And then, then the word water is sometimes used in the context of the word of God. So, if it speaks about being born of water, it means rather than that you are born of the Word of God. Jesus said to his disciples, he said to them, You are already washed by the word which I have spoken to you. So the word of God washes and it refers then to the word being that water as Jesus said you are washed by the words I have spoken to you. Stay away from thinking that water in this case must mean baptism either by the sprinkling of infant baptism or by adult baptism. It's neither. Instead, it is the word of God which brings about new birth by the Holy Spirit. And Jesus said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. And therefore, do not be amazed if I say to you, you must be born again. And a person might be confused and say, how so? 
Jesus spoke in symbolic terms. Illustrating with wind, saying, Look at the wind, it blows where it wishes. And you feel the wind, but you don't know where it comes from or where it's going to. Some people today might say, but we just go straight to the internet and we can calculate where the wind is coming from and where the wind is going to. They might be correct sometimes, but at other times, meteorologists can be totally incorrect. They don't really know where the wind where the source is from and where exactly it ends. Many things there are that we do not understand, but they exist. A person may not understand how a black cow eats green grass and then gives white milk, and from that you can get cheese and things like an ice cream. So Nicodemus' question was, how can it be? Those he had much knowledge and knew a lot about things in this world, but this confused him, and he asked Jesus, "How can it be?" And so Jesus asks him, how can you be the teacher of Israel, teaching everyone, and yet you don't understand this? What in Kinsil and Kinsil, Tina, Sukuluma, and Sikwazio, Sifarazang as it was you, as a bonayo. Got an immugeli Uktanda Zagweet, a Ukuluma Gweet. And he said, Verily, we speak of things that we know, uh, but you do not receive that which we say. Uches, why is it the Umangin Jela? O was him Sabini Ninga Gold. And so he said, if I speak to you of things in this world that you do not understand, how will you ever understand the things of heaven? Saying no one has gone from here into heaven. Except the one that descended from heaven. The Son of Man. 
Kushu kuti unikuti mwawe zwa izi ndabezi nja. Watola isi fundo esi kulu. So Nicodemus heard brand new things and was taught a very important lesson. Watige ujesu. Yabona Nicodem. Njengo uba umosi. Waipagami sinyo kesani. Kanjalo. Indota na yomundu umelu kutipaganyiswe. Uguba ilo okuluma okolwa nguye. Abe nukpilo kupagate. And he said, look Nicodemus, just as the serpent of Moses was lifted up in the desert and healed those who looked to it, so too the Son of Man must be lifted up so that those who believe in him might be saved. Remember that this was something spoken by Nicodemus. A very important person, an authoritative speak, uh, person in the whole of Israel. Rich and one who was highly exalted in the faith. But he was still not satisfied. That's why he comes to Jesus and asks these profound questions. And Jesus marveled, saying, But Nicodemus, you who are a teacher of teachers, how can it be that you don't understand these things? So highly educated. Wapasa. Having passed everything. But here was something that confused him. That's what it's like when we meet with Jesus. So that night, Nicodemus received a lesson that he had never been taught and had never known before. Jesus revealing things of heaven and how to enter heaven. Saying, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the, in the desert.